buses. I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Butcher of Blabberkin. Duty calls. Fire pounding in my skull. Oh, shit, someone. Sultan. Geralt! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> they say elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zultan. Sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! The bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. 
Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. I can see Caesar together. Meet me outside this townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. I need a rhyme. Can you help? <laughs> whoa, 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 stop flexing like that. Ramen supper I never refuse. Ugh, got a sharp hey, pain in his you? How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and... Uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the witch will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natali's card. Fancy that. Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate, and sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won! So, now we'll play something else. You'll carry Take him from the back! Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. Ah, uh, watch where you step. How do you go with this healer? I was laughing about minding my own business when suddenly he's been on the heels, mate. I know you from somewhere. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills and to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the car there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and Spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivi! She's our Belzen. 
Uh, remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta? The Pike's king of the Ponta. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the Ponta? You betcha. Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what if the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Like shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the Ponta. How about this travel stand? Not in me own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up in Cair Morhen? Live bait. You see, Chibi, he'll make a good angler yet in some 50, 60 years. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. You forget what happened last time? Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. A set of Alanahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Ah, here's Fringilla. And if I hired a witcher as my debt collector? Sultan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. 
leaving already. Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him, and you two get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Damn the horse, son! Pathetic. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, girl. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Zoltan. Get out. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Thanks to you, get Move it! Why? Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beer. You do well not to pest the folk. When it rains, it pours. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Go oh, carry him! What? Can't understand a word.
can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Winds howling. Leave me, uh, swiving drowners. <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha, highly amusing. If, if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah, you can go, if you're able. Ha, what are my chances with these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. Remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Times when beggars can put letters together and foul their minds. The fire will cleanse them all. Lay me there with a barrel of beer and a cup in my right hand. 
hang over me coffin, sing this cheer. He died. Help that poor fellow out. Switcher. I know who burned the hunter's quarters down. Don't worry, though. I don't like them no fellows either. I wonder, can I actually get to see trees around? Let's see. So, how do you go with this thing? I was probably not, maybe. Help, save me! I'm dying! Wait. Stop staring at me! Gonna kill you! That's all. Fled across the Pontar, said I defended their fatherland. Oh, you frightened me. Very suspicious to me, Tramp. Uh, uh. What thing I piss me from the willows. It's into my area two days road from the zebra. Whoa there, Roach. Typical units attack their garrison, that is. And they set out all the lights. Eternal fire, why me? Black ones, for Danians. <laughs> Long as they play and don't hit. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but Why imagine... Your ass well, right, you know. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> sir. face or might as well have call me a whoremonger and a witless hack can you imagine wit is my forte gotta say priscilla's really growing on me save it and why don't you save your pouting prove to her she's wrong exactly what i plan to do i've always dreamed of having my own cabaret a bit of paint and plaster and this place will do splendidly just one hitch need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and 
ekamajigs. Maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know, no matter what you might think. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you, <laughs> I know she'll forgive me and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Sorry, Dandelion. Maybe later. You always say that. How are things, Dudu? So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Halfling Biberveld goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then, a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Gotta admit, your manga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusting. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A doctor assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Ever considered leaving? Getting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you can try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. 
take care of yourself, Doodoo. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Sweetie? Why is your... Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, Horson Sr. himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harrowood, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, <laughs> is a concern. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes. Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. Give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. What did you want from Sophronia? Slipped my mind. Geralt, I want to transform this esteemed establishment into a first-class cabaret, and that takes funds. Enter Sophronia. I remember now. Gotta help you convince her you're trustworthy. Exactly. And to do that, we need a sword from Madame Arena Renard's prop collection. So, will you help? Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? <laughs> he never given me nothing but floppy did he? You don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you've got to have talent and character. Black ones, Redanians, long as they pay. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Oh! You'd normally pay for that. My eye on you. What? Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. Don't worry. You're red. You're a coin. This drink for the me, me night. So, how do you go with this healer? I was laughing about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Move on. As they say, a bard must be a quick talker and a witcher a quick stalker. All's in order. Twinge of me bang again. Do not, I repeat, do not come be gone with you. We're already dependent on the black markets, economically. You're late to the bass are strapping the back to the working man. Ah, so good to see you. 
You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Who fled Not safe here. Want a hug? I's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. Tremble, flaxen-haired wench, and bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> On guard! Ha! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought. Uh, uh. Oh, come on! The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! It has been a supervisor. <laughs>
it seems I have a small bug with the mouse, so let's just stop here and continue a bit later.